from Midtown Manhattan. The Cube's live coverage of Big Data NYC, a Silicon Angle Wikibon production. Made possible by Hortonworks, We Do Hadoop, and Wham Disco, Hadoop Made Invincible. And now your co-hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante. We're live here in the Big Apple at uh, the Warwick Hotel on 6th Ave, right across the street from the Hilton, where Hadoop World is going on. This is theCUBE. We go out to the events. This is our fourth year at Hadoop World. We extract the signal from the noise, bringing the best guests that are at these events. Harain Oberoi is here. He's the Director of Product Management uh, for BI at Microsoft, and Bob Page is VP of Products at, at Hortonworks. These guys are big partners, um, and we've had a number of guests from each of your companies on before at the, uh, on theCUBE. Welcome. Thanks, Ford. Good to Thanks see you guys. So, Harain, let's start with you. Uh, Microsoft, in, 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 remember, you're in every market. You can't name a market where you're not, and even in hardware now. Yep. <laughs> right, so. So what's, the, what's the, the bumper sticker on Microsoft's big data play? Sure, yeah, so the big thing for us is, uh, you know, we've always been about simplifying things, bringing, bringing things to the masses, and so uh, the big theme for us this morning was how do you bring big data to a billion people? Uh, and one of the big things we're looking at is, uh, A, how do you simplify things within the enterprise, and B, really, how do you get the insights ultimately from the data to the individuals that need them? And so a lot of the investments we're making, uh, for example, in Excel, uh, the investments we're making in natural language search, uh, in addition to the investments we're making in Hadoop, are ways in which we want to connect the dots between the people and the data to bring this to the masses. Yeah, so a lot of the, you know, the sandbox activities that you see in Hadoop are just very narrow. I mean, in typical Microsoft fashion, you're bringing a lot of different tools to the, to the problem. Um, how's that going? What's the, what's the reaction been in your, your customer sure. base? Sure, yeah, and like, there's really two pieces to the story. One is the work we've been doing with Hortonworks, of course, which is how do we simplify Hadoop and bring Hadoop to the enterprise, and you know, that includes the investments we're making in security and the investments we're making in manageability. Of course, a lot of the work we've done together has been porting it to Windows. And then the other part of the equation is, is about bringing it to the users, which is the investments we're making uh, in the BI side of things with Excel. And so uh, we've seen some great reactions on the integration work we've done uh, with Excel. You know, we've got some demos, we've got a booth uh, back in the conference, and everyone who walks in and sees you know, big data showing up in Excel in a really rich 3D visualization looks at that and saying, wow, I didn't know Excel could do that. So we're getting, getting some great reactions. So you, uh, you mentioned the uh, Hortonworks partnership. You guys decided you know, years ago not to do your own Hadoop distribution. What, what was that conversation like you know, back then? Was there a debate about that, or sure. was it a no-brainer? Well, so initially, initially there was a little bit of a debate, but it got to a certain point where Hadoop did become the de facto way to kind of store and process distributed data. Uh, and at that point, you know, which was about two years ago, it, it really was a no-brainer, and you know, we, we made a bet, and we partnered up with Hortonworks, and you know, here we are two years later announcing the GA of uh, HD inside on Azure, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful thing. So Bob, that gave you guys a big tailwind, because it, it sort of removed that last big question mark in, in the marketplace, um, like, okay, what's Microsoft going to do? Right. And then once they joined forces with, with Hortonworks, it seemed like the, the roads were paved, you know, the snowstorm, right, and the plows came through, and then boom, things really started to take off. Is that a, is that a correct perception, or I wonder if you could take us back? Oh, I like your, uh, your, your, your analogy. It, uh, it, it brings to mind many other possible, possible <laughs> analogies, where in some ways, um, you had Hortonworks, which was um, kind of the engine, uh, but you, you didn't have some of the infrastructure, maybe the, the front plow you needed you know, to clear out some of, that, uh, some of the snow. Uh, but, uh, but together, we're able to do that. And um, we're now at a place where um, all the projects, all the core projects and most of the associated projects are um, not just Linux and then port to Windows, they're both simultaneously. Um, and so we saw that just recently with Hadoop 2, the core, which shipped uh, uh, G a couple weeks ago. And, uh, uh, and then the last couple weeks we saw Pig and HBase and a number of others that are now not just Linux native port to Microsoft uh, Windows, but are Linux Windows simultaneously. So Hortonworks obviously very proud of its uh, contributions to, to Apache. Sure. Um, maybe give us a quick update on that, and I'm very interested in Microsoft's role there. How do you guys collaborate together? Maybe start with you, Bob. Well, I mean, our commitment's as strong as it ever has been. Everything we do is 100% open source. Every code, piece of code we write goes back to the Apache uh, Software Foundation. We don't own the IP there. We want to make sure the community <laughs> owns it. Uh, that's the only way that we know of that's going to create this ecosystem for Hadoop, this platform that is going to de-risk 
any of the investments that businesses will make, and you won't have multiple Hadoops, you'll have one Hadoop, and that'll be the one that Apache has. So we, we're, we're dedicated to that, it's going quite well. And Harain, what's talk about Microsoft's sure. uh, stance on, on open source. Sure, yeah, I mean, this was a relatively simple decision for us. We had a common goal here, which was bringing Hadoop to Windows. And when we looked at what's the best way to bring Hadoop to Windows, it was to partner with Hortonworks and then contribute back into the Apache open source community. So ultimately, we did want to have Apache Hadoop for Windows. I mean, there was a whole half of the market that didn't have access to Apache Hadoop that we wanted to enable that. And that then allows us to bring other things to life like the Excel integration and natural language search and things like that that we talked about. And so a lot of the work we did hand in hand, I mean, really putting engineers together for a long period of time was to help port Hadoop to Windows. And then uh, as we do that, making Hadoop better on other projects like Stinger and Tez and then making Hive more performant, all those things makes Hadoop better and that benefits Microsoft, but it benefits everyone as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, you guys have massive resources, huge product portfolio. So what do you do? How do you, how do you sort of decide where to put, I mean, you have massive resources, but they're not unlimited. So how do you decide where to put the resources? You look at your, your, your portfolio of products and say, okay, where's the biggest potential? How can we help the community the most? And then, and then what? You actually provide co committers, contributors? What, what, what role do you actually play? I mean, of course, we, we do want as many uh, Microsoft employees to also be committers. Um, that, that's, that's a process that takes time and it takes, uh, the more time you invest, the more committers you end up getting. And so uh, that is part, part of the reason why we did partner up with Hortonworks, because Hortonworks had been doing this, understood the process really well, and so when we started two years ago, we were learning the process from Hortonworks. Now, you know, it's, it's very much a hand-in-hand -hand process where we're all contributing uh, to the same code base, and it's, then it's just a function of, you know, which individuals um, are contributing more and committing um, and getting the specific contributions passed by the, by the community. So let's talk about HD Insights and, and, and Excel. Um, and I presume this is how you're going to get to a billion oh, users. Yeah. So yeah. big data for a billion users. Where'd that come from? What role does Excel play? Sure. What role does HD Insights play? Sure, yeah, so if you think about, uh, you know, just the number of office users on the planet, and there's over a billion office users, uh, and, and giving them, you know, ultimately the, the value of big data isn't just what you can do in Hadoop, it's, it's the insights you get from the data. Uh, and these, those insights shouldn't just be limited to you know, a small group of data scientists. Like We really want those insights to be limited to a much broader set of end users. And so the work we're doing to integrate, make Excel a first class BI tool, and then integrate Excel with Hadoop and make the movement of Hadoop data into Excel as well as the BI infrastructure behind it, as the more we simplify that, the more we believe we can start to make this accessible. And, and what role does Hortonworks play in, in that whole ecosystem? How does that? How does the integration work? What, what role do you play in specifically in that integration? Well, we have, you know, we have regular engineering meetings, roadmap meetings, et cetera. So we're, we're meeting regularly, we're working together, we're coding together, uh, designing sort of what are, the, what are each of our uh, customers hearing, uh, the enterprises, and how do we best meet their needs. So it's a, it's a true partnership, not just a go to market, let's put some marketing dollars behind it, but We've got folks flying back and forth and writing code and doing reviews and it's it's a full on <laughs> right. partnership. Yeah, and and you know, the resulting effort really is, you know, HTTP uh, on Windows and then HD Insight on Azure really gives you that one-two punch in terms of deploying Hadoop on premise and then deploying Hadoop in the cloud. And regardless of what kind of deployment model you have, whether it's one or both or hybrid, um, being able to use Excel and BI tools against either one in a consistent way, that becomes a lot more simplified when you have people working together like that. So. Everybody's familiar with Excel, right? Um, so it's, it's a comfortable reference model. Um, you mentioned before trying to you know, make it more you know, BI robust. Uh, at the same time, um, you have a base of users that is very comfortable with it. I mean, I'm comfortable w with Excel. That uh, scares me a little bit. I say, okay, I'm not sure I, <laughs> sure. I do want to get into the big data sure. space, but I, I, I'm not sure I'm ready. Sure. For yeah. BI. You know, I mean, you know. yeah, Excel is one of those beautiful tools where you know you you it let you go as far as you want to go, uh, and so depending on what your level of comfort is and how far you want to go, I mean, you you can start small and do easy things, but as you progress, that progression should be simpler. Um, one of the things we'll start to do, and you'll see us do more, is as well as uh, provide cloud services like Office 365 and what we're calling Power BI for Office 365 to light up Excel. A great example of that is if I'm in Excel and I want to search for uh, how many attendees visited Strata last month, I could actually, in the context of Excel, do a search, and if that data happens to be public, 
uh, and we index it in the Bing search, uh, then that data shows up in the context of an Excel, and you just pull it in, and it'll figure out how to put it in rows and, col rows and uh, columns for you. So examples like that where you can take a simple idea like search, connect that to you know, external data, integrate that into Excel so someone like you who's using it in context can work with it um, are things we want to do to make it more accessible. So let me make sure I understand this. So you're sort of automating the, the Excel schema, if you will, using whatever, semi-structured query, uh, pulling in data, and then organizing it in a way that at least gets me started. Yeah, and, and we're using you know, the power of cloud and Office 365 to light up what you can do in Excel beyond just some of the traditional experiences you might have had. And so as, as Office 365 becomes more popular, as Excel starts to connect better to our cloud engines and services, the types of things you can do will become easier and more powerful without a whole lot of effort being put on behalf of the users. With a collaboration component, obviously, yep. in, included as well. Yeah. Excellent. So what, what's going on uh, over at the show at uh, Hadoop World? That's a great. We've got, you know, we've got a booth. We've got a great visualization showcase. We, we're showing some of our great new tools like uh, uh, some of the 3D geospatial visualizations that you could do in Excel if you didn't know that. So we're showing some of those <laughs> yeah. things. And then, of course, we're talking about HD Insight and the GA uh, and the work we've done there in terms of um, you know, security, manageability, uh, and then just the integration with our BI tools. And so uh, we've got a, we had a session earlier this morning uh, where we showed a customer. It was... Um, the uh, city of Barcelona that's using big data to make city services better. And so we're doing some real world showcases as well. So lots of exciting things going on. How about uh, the Hortonworks you know, booth? What do you guys got going on over there? Uh, well, we're showing HTTP2. And we're talking a lot about HTTP2, which is based on Hadoop2. So that's our yarn-based uh, distribution of Hadoop. We firmly believe it's going to change the world. And, but we're not stopping there. We've got, we've got Tez coming. Uh, and we think that's going to be as big a change in Hadoop as yarn is going to be in Hadoop, so we're just you know, talking about that. Um, we've got several speakers, uh, sessions going on where we're training folks and letting them know what we're doing. Again, it's for, it's, we're doing everything in the open, uh, and come by the booth and check it out. Yeah, we had Arun on earlier talking yarn. He said, I feel like I've been in a cave for two years. It just came out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's still rising, but things have changed a little bit. But uh, All right, gentlemen, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate uh, the insights. Congratulations on the partnership and the uh, momentum going forward, and good luck getting to that billion. Great, thank you. All right, thanks keep it right here, everybody. We'll be right back with our next guest. This is Dave Vellante. We're live at New York City. This is theCUBE. <laughs>